Hello, earthlings. It is me. I've just called out of the shower. Um, ooh, what a day! I popped on. I've seen a. I've seen a few people's readings today, but not many. Just to see what's going on downstairs, and um, something about a K and an F and a Y and a T and a K. And I said I posted on the line. I said, "What's this? A K Y jelly?" It's pink not looking good. I wish it was on Starlink. This detoxing is, see the thing is, I, um, because of who I am, I really can get away with a lot of shit. But I do, we all have to place, we have a time, a time to lead, a time to follow, a time to learn, a time to shut up, <laughs> a time to do as you bloody well told. Ignorance, arrogance, disrespectful people. Now, I'm not exempt. Uh, you're all jealous of me. You think it's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you known what you've lot done to me for the past 46 years? The universe is starting to find out. I didn't realise people didn't know how I was and what's going on. I posted a nice little thing. My, one of my other brothers. I have lots of brothers. You're going to be shocked when you find out how many people like me. Because <laughs> I'm in God's army. <laughs> and Dad said he would send back up. My God, he sent a whole tribe. Well, he sent a whole legion. <laughs> I'm just shuffling these as I'm talking, putting the energy through to see what I'm going to just, I don't really do need to do card readings. We have loads of, everybody has a job and mine is just to come and entertain the troops and give you an order. So, uh, what can I say about that? So, we all have to be disciplined and it's the pain of discipline and the pain of regret. Now I'm having to do this at the minute, which I hate. I, it really gets on my nerves actually. And I keep saying, oh, I'm an impatient little thing. Patience, it, I have the patience of a saint, but I'm also like everybody else. I'm Catherine and I'm human and I'm like, how much longer? Am I gonna wait for this again? I'm sick of being patient since 1992. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> so I do feel what the collective energy is going through. It's annoying, isn't it? Having to be patient. I know, I'm annoyed as well. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> I had my family the other week come on and say like, right, okay, we you just need to please do not get, do not, do not blow up like a volcano. It is the Mars in the planets of the atmosphere. You need to just relax, pull back, please just calm down. Because they don't want to tell me what to do because they know I don't like my family know me. And they just don't tell her what to do. She'll fucking kick off and she'll do the opposite. Please just be nice to her. Should we tell her this yet? No, don't tell her yet. Tell, don't tell her that yet. <laughs> Because I am, I am a hot-headed human. Catherine is very hot-headed. I told you what my grandma said, Catherine, please, I can't believe you turned on me. I'm going to have to stop swearing and behaving like this. This is not the way a lady behaves. So when you're a prophet, people like the word prophet. I'm talking in layman's terms so you understand because... Um, I'm an ascended, descended master. And I'm one of the leaders coming to lead us through the Great Awakening. My job is to smash and throw a mirror in your face that your religion's a load of rubbish, your government's a load of rubbish. <laughs> your pharmaceutical companies are ruining the whole planet. The way you treat Mother Earth is completely disrespectful. You can't even respect yourself. You're throwing rubbish on the floor. You've got no, no morals. You've got the morals around. Not even an alley cat. You're a rat. Skip rats. Sorry about that. Does that offend you? It's nearly, it's, it's, it's after tea time. <laughs> I haven't had anything to eat. I'm on a detox. So I'm starting that my energy is flowing and it's coming up. If you know anything about that, then you would know that's not a good idea for somebody like me, for the devil's art, to be doing a detox because they get more powerful. <laughs> I know this, and I'm lazy and I get, I just get me a burger and starving. Can I? Uh, number one. That's me. I am number one. <laughs> In a life path. One of oneness. There's lots of ones. 
We're all one of a one. You're the one, I'm the one, he's the one, I'm the one. I'm Spartacus now, I'm Spartacus now, I'm Spartacus. We're all the one. Nobody wants my job anyway. That Would you really want this job? No, you can't even do it. You can't even stop yourself having a drink for one night. You're an alcoholic. It's whoever that's to, I don't know. I'm just passing the messages. And I'm ch I just channel it comes through naturally. You take what where it resonates, leave what doesn't. Somebody's an alcoholic who can't even come off the bloody... And one, you can't come off the crack for a night. You can't, you're addicted to sex. You have no discipline. So how the hell do you expect the jealous to have my bloody job? I'm having a detox and not eat food. I'm just on the water and the coffee. I did a six weeks training program and detoxed my body for six solid weeks before I went in the Amazon. I've always been disciplined. It's just you two being too busy behind me, back alley and trying to whack a dack -a -day me, whaps of the traps. But you haven't noticed how great I've been. I've always been great. You missed it. And I'm a life path one. Not saying, look at me, egotistical, but I am one. Which is anger. <laughs> that is me, you see. The, the dark, the... The negative side of my personality of the oneness in me is anger. I am angry. She was right when she said that yesterday, but she was wrong because I'm not angry. I'm passionate now. I used to be angry, though. And then it also means one. This is me. I'm the one that's coming to tell you today. So you're either, are you an angry bird? What are you angry for? Are you jelly welly, jellyfish? Ooh. What are you jealous for? Because I looked to go out of the shower and look like this. This is African, by the way. It was five pounds from the market. I love it. It's one of the best clo clothing items I have. And it's purple, regal royal, changing the world for my bedroom. All law and order is in place. So number one, that'll be me. Whether you like that or not is not my problem. Is new beginnings. You should have had more respect when I was with you. You had your opportunity. You missed it now. I don't owe anybody anything. You now need to leave. You've, no. It's a no. I don't want to hear. I know you're sorry. I'm sorry too. I was sorry when you did what you did. How sorry? Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. You left me for dead, left me out to dry, and now you want me and my people to feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. I'm leading by example, and I ain't going back nowhere. You have to deal with your karma. God will tell you and inform you if you need to get a connection to God, or are you just going to carry on being your dictatorships of whaps of traps that's up to you it's not up to me i have people who need me now and i who actually like me so you could be having a new beginning or you could be in anger now if you notice this picture on here can you see the anger at the top there's the cat and there's a frog now i'm a cat and i've kissed a lot of frogs and they looked a bit like that <laughs> so i've switched it around now i'm not angry because i've sorted out myself healed myself fully and now i'm having a new beginning so I'm going to, you can take or leave the cards if you don't agree with them, but I'm going to take this one for myself. Law and order is done. I'm having a new beginning and you can go and be angry somewhere else. Period. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Fendi trendies. Following your labels. I am my own label, darling. I'll invent one later. And then you could be a folly, fool or a friend, or perception of unity. You see, now that's what we're doing, uniting as a family. Now, you didn't want me in touch with my soul tribe, because my soul, soul, soul tribe, you're a foal. My soul tribe is huge. <coughs> <coughs> I don't like that. No, I know. So that's okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But you will be arrested. I want them, I'm putting the law and order in place and bringing it. I am, by the way, you know when you said yesterday, we're going to phone the judge. I don't want to, I don't, I, can't, I don't like this bossiness. I'm very used to just leading by softness. So I'm going to keep doing it the way I want to do it. I don't come across very domineering. I'm not a dominatrix of a matrix of a dictatorship so i'm just going to tell you as it is really it's it's uh your disrespect will no longer be tolerated i want everybody off the streets i want you all to be arrested go and put them in where they belong whether that's a mental hospital or a cell of any kind but you you, you really need to just go away and now i think the, the law and order on the streets 
needs to be done with that because this is ridiculous. You're hurting, molestering, murdering, whapping, dapping, dipping in taps of traps and all sorts of stuff. And it's I'm not having it anymore. I will be leaving these premises. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to get what I want because I'm I'm the boss. It is new. It's a new way, yes. It's a goddess speech. <laughs> because I'm, I am a leader of, of leaders of leaders. Of, I'm just a leader. There's many of us. I need help as well. I'm healing. Because of the trauma that you dragons of... awfulness you're just awful i'm not even addressing it I, i've done my job i don't need to be going on about it solitude and divine comfort what did you wish in your life good bad or the ugly we can't just eliminate it's going to be eliminated don't worry but it needs to be brought down from heaven to earth and that's kind of my job my brother Drake has done a, um, Draco, has done a reading on my Facebook. If you'd like to read that, he tells you a little bit more about who I am. It's kind of biblical, and yes, I am an ascended master. Biblically speaking, my whole life is a biblical story. Eat out! So, anyway, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't get stressed now. Come on, come on. Don't get angry, people. Don't get angry. I don't want you to turn insane and have a mental breakdown or anything. That'd be terrible, wouldn't it? You'd end up in one of their mental hospitals. So, politics and ambition. We have leaders to be doing this, don't worry. Mr Trump, you'll be out of the door before long because I've had enough of you. Drive me nuts. I do hear Hunter Biden has been done with the gun crimes. Who knew that was a thing, Hunter? Hunted. Ain't so funny when the rabbit's got the gun. Just saying. I mean, what do I know? I'm just an ascended master. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but I'm going to start saying it all the time because now you're in trouble. Because I've known this forever, really. I've known it forever. I have, yes, I, yes. I'm sorry to shatter your illusion. I'm sorry to shatter your illusion. <laughs> I do know it. But what I found difficult is, and part of my healing journey is, because I was so traumatised by you lot and you really did f me up i went so deep inside myself that i've just been a little you're all right it's just me i'm a nobody so now i've got to come out and i'm not allowed to be a nobody because i'm a somebody and i've got to come out and say hey i'm a somebody but i don't really want to be a somebody because that means you have that means you have expectations now and i don't lead the way you're expecting me to lead I don't, because I've watched you lot lead us up the garden bloody path and over the cliffs of Dover's and I've watched you lot lead. Now I ain't leading like that because that's not the way if leaders should lead in the new age of the new world order. Spiritually speaking or religiously speaking, you are leading people up the garden path and you can't lead yourself. I told you, you can't lead and organise a piss up in a brewery. You useless leaders, all of you, useless so I think we should, well, we're doing it the New World Order way and it's just going to be fun. Because I don't believe we should be going to work. And, uh, you know, if you, if you, well, I was told as a child, if you can find what you're passionate about, you'll never work a day in your life. So this is my job. I want to lead like this. I might just do it all from home by myself on this phone. I'm changing the world by myself, with myself, for myself, in a five pound outfit, on the phone, making a big difference without any money and no food and no sense. Just sense. So that'll be that then. I'll read it again for you. Which is the positive is politics and ambition because we're leading the way. There's many of us. I, I'm just I'm just the entertainment. I just the one has the final word. I'm the one that says yes, no, that's not going to work. And that can we do that? Yes, no. <laughs> I'm the boss's daughter. <laughs> she, she's all hurt. Yeah. I know this for ages, I can't wait to tell everyone. 
So that would be traitors and conspiracies. You haven't betrayed me, have you? You wouldn't lie to me, would you? <laughs> you wouldn't lie to me. You haven't R-A-P-E-D me, my body and spirit. Then I'm afraid that you have touched God's anointed, not the anointed of a anointed, the one of the anointed ones. Ooh, that's not just a, that's not just an anointed one. That's the one. Do you know who she is? Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I don't mind being in this house with people knocking on my door when I've ordered peace and you've still come and been disrespectful to, uh, do you know who she is yet? <laughs> That's a kind of madness, man. Our house in the middle of our street, our street in the middle of our house, our house. How do you think I managed to get away with such crazy behaviour for the last 40 years? <laughs> Did you not think about this as a collective consciousness being light, dark, in between, medium or anything? Whether you're God's people or not God's people, you've still ignored me and still thought I'm a little bit fucking crazy. Did you not think, who is this woman? <laughs> No, you didn't. What you thought was, you thought you were the ones and the ones and the best of the ones and you were going to do what the hell you liked. Because you've got God complexes, some of you. That's to the religious ones who think that, oh, well, I'm an ast, we've always done it this way. Well, you've lost your wings and now you're bound to earth because you love the earth so much. So well done. Congratulations. You get what you want. Well done. And now that's you out of the way. Move them on, get them out of the way. They're not to come where we're going. Who else have we got on the list? Oh, the spiritual people who have done fake accounts, lied and pretended they're religious, uh, they're spiritually new age, thinking they know everything. They did have a gift and they've abused the gift and abused the power and used God's people and tried to siphon energy and take the mickey out of real God's people, including myself. How do I know? Because I was there. So you're now off the list. Get them out of my face. You go back down. Start again on the snakes and ladders test. Because, yes, you did have a gift. God does like you. He's not punishing you. He's treating you and teaching you that you need to learn some respect. Judge not thy, judge not another, because you shall be judged. One finger forward gets three back at me a bit. Such so you lot sorted. Anyone else I've missed off the list? Oh, yes. The actual piddodders. The peedle peedles of the fiddly diddlers of the kiddy fiddlers. You are just banished from Earth altogether. You are no longer welcome on planet Earth. Not the Earth we are on, the new Earth. Nope, we are having no paedophilias. That is not a God's way. That is not any way. And that is not acceptable on the planet. I do not give a shit. I'm passionate about this paedophilia. Now, I know you're trying in Eden's camp of the Eden Project to say, that, well, we can't help it. It's just, you know, it's just, I just fancy it. No. There's no rehabilitation for these people. There is no expectation they're going to get better. There is no excuses. There is no nothing. That is it. If you have done a paedophilia act and been proven for it, and especially if it's on video, that's it. You're out of here. Locked in a cell 24-7 a day. You are never to see the light of day again, as far as I'm concerned, I'm afraid. That's, that's kind of my law with that one. And that's a very serious law of Ra. Because he, that is my passion. And that's the one thing I will not, will not ever tolerate on planet Earth. Just to get a bit serious, sorry, I've clipped into a place here a little bit. Paedophilia is not acceptable on Earth, this new world order. It will not be accepted. You are not going to get any help. You're not going to get any rehabilitation because you can't be rehabilitated. You're an animal. And you're not welcome on the new Earth. End of, full stop, no compromise, no nothing about that. I don't want to hear about, I don't want to talk about the paedophilia rings again. You're out of here. Deal with them somewhere else, away from me. I've served paedophiles, pedoph I've worked with paedophiles, I've served them. I've even hugged a couple of them. I've even been used and abused by them because I was a victim of paedophilia in the sex trafficking ring of the occults, of the darkest Frankensteins of... Franklin's. Okay.
So get him out the streets, I want him done, gone away. Texas Nexus, Bex, Trex, Lex, Flex, Wex, somewhere else. That's it. <clears throat> I won't be discussing and doing the paedophilia, that's why I said I don't do the law. That's up to the law of the earth law now to put you all in your place. But I'm coming down with the law of order of Rara above, and I'm bringing it back down below. And I'm telling you now, there ain't no rehabilitation for you paedophiles. There ain't no self-houses where you can come and have a little live. And can I just put a tag on my, on my ankle and go around and have a look at the barks? At... No, you are going in a cell, six by four, first six months, no milk on your cornflakes. I will then, they'll come and inform me after you've been locked up. Might take a few, I don't know when this is going to manifest into, into Earth. Depends what timeline you're on. But I'm telling you now, New World Order, law of the raw, first rule of raw is you are no paedophiles on my planet. None. However that manifests, it's up to my father. He's the V, I'm just the T. That'll be his vengeance. But the law is, no. There's no tag, there's no bag, there's no, oh, what if, maybe, to be, to be, she, de, we, de, I know, but yeah, but no, but yeah, but no, but no, go. Yeah, but no, computer says no. Yeah, but no, but yeah, but no, but yeah, but Vicky Pollard. Uh, no, but no, but no, computer says no. Because I have ex personal experience with this. Now, everybody can change and things can change in this. Yes, people can be rehabilitated. I'm a very fair leader. I'm a very fair person. And I know this, 2131. But what I am aware of and what I know, for, for, I deal in facts, not fiction. I deal in truths. And I'm telling you now, you cannot rehabilitate a paedophile. Fact. Truth. End of. There was no paedophilia people coming into the New World Order. And that needed saying out loud and addressing because that is an email I once sent around everybody. All government-fermented people will get that now. Anybody who's been involved with children, child sex trafficking or the paedophilia rings, you are going down. You will be locked up and you will be going to prison. End of. It's the 11th today and that's my first judgment of the law of order of Ra. Maybe I am the K, I'm the J, how do you know? Fooled ya, gotcha, loser. So you all just sit back patiently and wait because I can guarantee you everything's on the AI. Everything is done. I see. 2240. Everything is on the AI. You have an electronic footprint. No man, no beast, nobody will go untouched if you've done anything sexual to any child. Prostitution, different case. That's it. I'm not talking about prostitution. I'm not talking about just having sex. Or what's that other one they call it? BDSM, where you tie people up. I'm not on about that particular one. We'll get to that tomorrow, maybe. I'm talking today about paedophilia, where you're having sex with children, minors. That's a major key in my game. <laughs> you might call it a minor. Well, it's just a minor child. That's a major. That's a major alert of a red alert of a woo, 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 woo. We will have to discuss later and I'll have to have a team meeting with my people actually here on 3D Earth to talk about what we're going to do about the prostitution and the sex trafficking and the human trafficking trade. But you all will be arrested and you will be locked up, yes. Yes. Sorry, yes, you will. Whether it's mentally, physically or spiritually, you are now bound and gagged and you do not move an inch until I tell, it, tell you devil worshippers of occult rings, of your paedophilia rings. Nobody moves an inch until I say so. Right? Good. Please don't tell me that. I needed that off my chest. <sighs> that felt good. Ah, yes, I am actually very sad this morning because I'm very pleased. And that will now trickle down and be filtered out through the whole ethos, Rainbow Warrior style. Good. So the miners are now majors and you are now off the miners because you're now majorly in major trouble of the leagues of that. We will deal later with more details of the the rules of the law of the actual human trafficking because it's pretty the same, much the same category, but... It's, yeah, I understand what you're saying because I can hear my people talking. So, yeah, I understand what you're saying. So I'm just coming in with just the paedophilia law today. 
minor children are major issues for me. And there's no rehabilitation. You can't be rehabilitated. You're a pervert. Paedophilia is a serious issue here on Earth with Louis Garden of Eden. We are not animals, we are not donkeys, we are not going to poke pigs and porky pigs and all these porky pie lies. No more. Truth will be seen by everybody. Anyway, I'm going to do one. Do you want one question before I go? And then I'm going to go, but I wanted that. I want that. Spread that around the whole world. Send emails. Talk to yourself. Do what you want. That comes from the Galactic Federation of Light of Ra. That's not even a discussion of the round table. That comes direct from me and my dad. We've discussed that just the two of us because I'm so been so abused and in a paedophilia ring and you damage me so much for that 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 is the number one law. Paedophilia is dead in the water if it doesn't land on my planet again. Question is, give it all you've got <laughs> is the answer to your question, whatever that means to you. Okay, is that, is that okay? Not too aggressive for you, bitch. You may have opposition, I might. I don't care. There ain't no opposition in my life without rule, and that is the one rule that I do not compromise on. I will not discuss. I will not have anything to do with anybody. That is it. Full stop. Dots on the I's and T's on the cross. Done. I will discuss other things. Obviously, we do need to discuss the other, other rules of... Uh, other things, yes, I know that. But rule number one, ain't no pedos getting on my new work. I don't care what you say, what you think, what you feel. I'm sorry, but no. No, you beasts. You belong with Satan and you're all going to the void with him. Whatever that means, I don't know. Your karma will be given out by um, the Justice Department on whatever level. But the judges will now have a ruling that paedophilia is much more serious than train robbing and money. Comprende, understando. Good. 27.07 on the clock. Perfect. Double seven. I'm going to go and now it's 11. Good. Have a lovely evening. That is Catherine with a K and kick your ass from the UK. Enjoy your day.